Hey, Earth Signs. It's Suzanne with Sunny Force Tarot here to do a little random read for you. Um, so this is about what might be going on with your person, okay? How they might be seeing something. And the two cards that I'm starting with are my Life Stories decks. So the yellow and the black. So this will either represent a memory for your person or a fantasy for them. All right, so it's going to go in one of two directions. So these two cards represent a memory or a fantasy that they have when it comes to you. All right, so I'm going to pull a couple, well, a few cards here, see what we get. Actually right there. So this is random. I'm just letting spirit dictate the message. These are my cards for those of you that have possibly just found me. All right, let's see what we get. All right, so let's start. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's see what we have here. First card. All right, we have the totem pole. Obedience, increased awareness, strength. Hmm. So let's see what else we get here. I say what I mean and speak the truth. Okay, so I almost feel like in some strange way, I feel like this, not strange, but I feel like this could be a fantasy that your person has, okay? Um, because this person has maybe found some increased awareness, okay, over, you know, they have maybe raised their vibration a little bit or their awareness or they've had some type of awakening they might be finding some strength in their head okay in a fantasy to be able to say what I mean and speak the truth okay so I feel like this could be a fantasy that could certainly find you could certainly come true um, but then we have this obedience over here. This person might be very obedient to somebody or listen. They might listen to somebody in their life. Um, what somebody says might have a lot of bearing and meaning on what this person does. Okay. This person might be very susceptible to other people's opinions, which holds them back a little bit, holds them back from really speaking what they say, you know, what they really mean. This is the throat chakra here. Okay, so let's see. Let's just take a look at what we've got here. All right, we've got business. So we're going to clarify these cards. All right, but you know, what, what would business mean for this person? You might have met through work. This person might be highly focused on their business. Um, they might be somebody that really keeps their business to them themselves outside of possibly talking to, you know, a special person that has a lot of influence on them, but we'll, we'll expand on that. What else do we have? Frank. So first of all, if you're dealing with somebody named Frank, that might be what that is saying here, but this is when, when somebody is frank with you, right, they speak, they say and speak what they mean and their truth. This is very truthful. This is very truthful energy here. That's what frank means. And then what do we have here? Unhappy. So...
You know, I feel like um, part of what this person's truth would be, and it could certainly be that they're speaking truth about being very unhappy in their career or in their business. They might be, you know, they might want to run away. They might want to run away from something. They might want to run away from their commitments, their responsibilities. Something is making this person unhappy. So let's see what else. A gift. Usually when I see this card, I feel like this person feels like you were a gift in some way. Okay, it might have been a gift. You might have been a gift in some way to their business or their career. But in some way, I feel like you were a gift. And it you helped this person to increase their awareness, their maybe their spiritual awareness. You might have given this person strength. That could have been a gift. And maybe this is something that you're completely unaware of that you did for this person. What else? Competitive. So you might be dealing with somebody who's very competitive. You may not even know that. Um, they may feel the reason they keep this energy of fantasy is because they are so competitive. They may see you as, you know, they might see you around other people. They might see that you are gaining attention from other people. They know that, you know, you're attractive because you're attractive to them. So competition bothers this person. There might be an element of jealousy here. So what's this about here? Breakdown. Unhappy breakdown. Wow. Let's see. Let's clarify what all this is about here. But I do feel like this person fantasizes about telling you the truth. Let's see what they're unhappy about, first of all. And what they might be having somewhat of a breakdown about. justice. Okay, so this is a card of contracts and fairness, all right? So they might be unhappy in a contract, in a marriage, in a business type of situation um, that they're unhappy about. And that might be what this person is dealing with and maybe why they're not fully sharing or speaking their truth you know, they may not want to unload on you. They may not want to unload their crap onto you. What is this breakdown about? Ace of Cups. So, you know, you might be driving somebody crazy in some way here because, you know, if this is what they fantasize about and this is what they want and they're not doing this, they might be causing themselves to break down a little bit, you know, to really ask themselves, like, what am I worth here? You know, I, I can't even tell somebody how I feel. I can't even tell somebody my truth. And they're having a little bit of a challenge with that. They're breaking down. And they're also unhappy with some type of situation in, in their life that involves a contract in some way. All right. So let's see. Let's look at the business and Frank, you know, being frank with somebody. Business devil. This person has business with you. This is Capricorn, okay? So if you're a Capricorn, this person might feel like they have unfinished business with you or they might feel like there was some kind of um, there's unfinished business here between you and this person if you're a Capricorn okay if you're not a Capricorn then I feel like you know and this can be for Capricorn too but 
this could be a business bond, a business contract between you and somebody that you're interested in. Um, but I feel more so that it's, it's unfinished business that has created a toxic level of energy for this person. It's causing them to be unhappy, possibly breaking down. This card can also be that this person is extremely attracted sexually to you and they're struggling with that. What is this Frank about? We're not doing reversals in this. We've got five of swords. They're very, very conflicted about being truthful. When it comes to real life, okay, this person finds it very difficult and they're very conflicted about speaking the truth when it comes to you for some reason, okay? Let's look at a gift. Again, I always feel like a gift is something that they receive from you and why are they so competitive and maybe that is preventing them from speaking to you a gift clarified by two of pentacles so two of pentacles is about not making a choice stalling the fact that i almost feel in, in a strange way that you might have presented a different way of looking at something to this person. Like you might have allowed them to see themselves differently. Like in a new way in the physical world. And it's posing, it's making them look at their life from a different perspective. Which is a gift. Okay, the fact that you may not be heavily pursuing this, because I, I don't think you are, um, could also be a gift, you know, as they find their strength to possibly reach out. You know, you might be in a I can take it or leave it type of energy. What's this competitive energy here? Knight of Wands. So that can be card of Sagittarius. You might find yourself, um, Knight of Wands is the energy of non-committal, non-commitment, okay? In and out, player energy. Uh, that, that, you know, that might have happened between the two of you. The two of you might have been together and then separated, been together separated, you know, and maybe the last time you separated or the last time you spoke, nothing was really decided or resolved. There was always this energy of, well, maybe we'll talk again, maybe we won't. Um, and this energy always inspires this competitive energy because it's like, well, what's this person doing when I'm not around? You might be asking that question but I feel like they are as well. I feel like they're asking that, that same question because there's a level of Two of Pentacles uncertainty about whether or not, you know, we're really going to do this. This is not this, right? So Knight of Wands certainly can um, feed that devil energy. The devil energy, you know, you could speak to any of the seven deadly sins, right? Pride, gluttony, lust. I don't have the seven in front of me. So, you know, um, I just, uh, let's see. Why can't I think of all seven? That's concerning. Okay, so yeah, pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony, and sloth. You know, and this could be affecting somebody's business, but I feel more so that that's about unfinished business. 
unfinished business because of one of the de seven deadly sins, okay? Um, and then over here, this person very, very conflicted about speaking their truth. In their fantasy, they do when it comes to you, all right? But they're, they're not really ready. They're not, they're not facing this quite yet. Justice. Um, again, this person is unhappy around a situation that they're in. Contract. Uh, marriage. Or they might be, in some cases, a divorce. Or they might just be in a commitment that they don't want to be in. A gift. I, you know, I feel like the gift is really about is about what you have given this person. You might have awakened this person on some level. And even if they're slightly confused right now, I feel like it's still a gift. This person, I feel like the two of you dealt with some type of Knight of Wands energy. There could have been a one night stand at one point that never got followed up on, or there was a makeup breakup type of situation, or, or there was just a, a huge attraction between the two of you that never got off the ground. Something like that, and this person doesn't fully know where what your status is. Uh, they might be a little bit jealous. Okay, they might be. They might carry that that energy from the devil. This person, I feel like, is breaking down a little bit because all they wanted was love. That's all anybody really wants, and they don't know how to. They just don't know how to bring it out in themselves to show it. That's what they're struggling with. Okay. All right. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. That is what I have for you for your little, uh, your little message here. I, you know, I just pull all the cards randomly. I don't really ask spirit for anything outside of just talk about what, what needs to be talked about. And either you're going to resonate with it or you're not. And that's, you know, and in most of these types of readings, you know, we are coming from a place of, you know, there might be challenge in the relationship or, you know, somebody's been struggling with a separation or a breakup, something like that. These readings usually aren't about, um, you know, if everything is golden in your relationship. So... But this person definitely has a fantasy of, of wanting to speak their truth about something. And there's a lot of internal conflict that they have. You might sense this, you might not. But that's, uh, that's what we're getting, okay? All right, so that's what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, you can definitely reach out to me. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time, all right? Have a great day. Thanks, bye.